Hi, I'm Tony from Stuff Magazine. Tony, 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 Tony from Stuff ma- 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 Magazine. Magazine. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and this is the Korg Micro Sampler, which I'm playing with now. Let's see what we can do with it. So, Korg Micro Sampler. It's a new sampling keyboard from Korg. It's along the lines of the micro corks in terms of its looks. It's quite small. It's got little keys, as I like to demonstrate with my actual size hand once more. Um, and it has a gooseneck microphone, which means, as I just demonstrated there, Hi, I'm Tony from Hi, Stuff Magazine. I'm Tony from Stuff Magazine. It makes it very easy just to sample things straight off. Now, let's take a look around it and then I'm going to attempt to make a bit of noise with it and we'll see how we go. So, to look at, it's rather strange. Um, it can appear rather childlike, I think. Um, it has these strange recessed areas for all, the, all of the buttons, which this is brand new, so at the moment it's quite clean, but I can see them gathering dust and fluff and things, but I guess it would make it tougher, as you're not going to knock these these things off if you're carrying it around. Um, we'll have a quick look around the back now, get that out of the way, and we'll do the interesting stuff. So we have around the back audio outs, headphone outs, we have audio inputs have a switch to switch between the mic and an external audio source and you've got MIDI in and out USB which will handle MIDI and also interface with the editor on a computer so at the, at the moment I've got this loaded up with some samples from a Roland TR808 so if I switch this back into sample mode rather than keyboard mode when I play different keys then we get the different sounds either side to them you'll notice these lights here uh, these are part of the sequencer that it's got built in. It's not a step time sequencer like some of like some of the old Roland drum kits, but it's a real time loop sequencer. So I'll show you how that works. So if we set it recording and I press this button Stop the metronome. So if we play that back, so that's just the bass drum playing. Then you can overdub new sounds on top of that loop. So let's have a go at that. So it's not the best drum loop in the world, but you get the idea. Um, I've also sampled a few things off my Speak and Spell. It's a good one. It's an old one with the raised buttons on it. Anyway, so, and I've made a little note of what sounds I've got where. Down here. Rhythm. Mechanic. Rhythm. Mechanic. Rhythm. Mechanic.
Okay, what else can I tell you about it? Um, there are these little kind of indents here, which if you were to photograph it carefully with an iPod placed in it, it might look like it had an iPod dock like that, but it doesn't really. It's just um, it's just a hole, really. You can put things in. It's got one on both sides. Uh, the idea is, I think, that if you're sampling from an iPod or something like that, you can just keep it there. Though you'd probably want to keep it this way up because that's where the cable's going to come out from. Um, but I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Keep a small change in there or something. Um, let's take a look at some of the effects because it's got some pretty nice effects. The distortion effect is quite nice. Quite rough and ready. Uh, decimator. Though that sample sounds like that already. <laughs> it's not telling us much. Um, what else have we got? Reverb. So what else can I tell you? It runs off batteries or mains, which is nice, makes it quite portable. Uh, the build quality is, as the tap test, it's um, it's not the most robust, but um, I think it would stand up okay to a fair bit of knocking, and these these recessed buttons will help on that. The sequence is great. I would have liked also to have a step sequencer option in there. Um, it's not the most easy thing to use at first, but once you get to know it, uh, it does make a bit more sense. And it'll be a very versatile little machine. If you had a compact setup or if you're on a budget, um, it could form the, the core of quite a decent setup. And you, you could make full blown tracks just with this. And there's also this editor for PC or Mac which is quite cool, which allows you to import samples from other sources, assign them to keys, uh, set up loop points, that kind of thing, and export them to the keyboard or to import banks from the keyboard to keep on your computer for use later on in case you lose them on the machine. So there we go. Cool micro sampler, very nice I think. Um, for more stuff like this, pick up Stuff Magazine and visit stuff.tv. And that's about it. Bye!